back again after the twin superchargers on the Mini yesterday. And did you like that? Bit of a clickbait title. It's the first time I've ever done that, really. But see how it goes. Might bring some more fans. <laughs> um, right, well, we're back on the Glanzer Mini today. And Jordan has just done his little intro to his video. And just to explain, we're not getting fed up with bodywork. Well, I am. I hate bodywork anyway. So, but I figure the videos are just going bodywork, bodywork, bodywork. So let's change it up a bit. And when I say change it up, I mean, let's shift some gears. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to have a look at the uh, gear linkage on the back of the gearbox. And we're going to try and get that all married up to the cables and the selector inside the car. Now, the cables are way too long. And the selector mechanism on the gearbox actually fouls the subframe. So we've got a fair bit of a challenge ahead there. Uh, it should be fairly simple, really, but it's a lot of cutting and making things and making it work. So come along for the ride. Let's do some shifting. So we're just going to have a quick more, having a bit more of a look under the bonnet here and see what we can do. So I will bring you back in a mo. Right, we've decided to drop this whole subframe out with the engine on and that bar there. We're going to cut that out and at a later date we're going to replace it a bit further down and a bit further out the way because that fails the gear linkage quickly so it's going to need uh, a bit more modification there and of course while the subframe's out we can chop that bit off properly make it all look a bit better I'm not saying we're going to clean the subframe up today we're concentrating on the gear linkage but at the same time while it's out might as well do something Right, so Jordan's just drawn round this bit of gear linkage now because we need to cut that to make it fit um, the uh, bit near the subframe. So once we've once we've got the angle of which way we're going to cut it, we know how to do the other end as well. You see the bracket that's sitting on top of the gearbox, the other end of the cable. So yeah, I think that uh, that little diagram should do us uh, grand. Right, while well, Jordan's uh, poncing around making the gear change a bit different I've cut the front bar off of the subframe so these end pieces I've cut them off both sides and just tacked this bar in it's only a temporary bar just an odd bit of box section they're kicking around because that's probably where we're going to move the lower front cross member it gets it right away from like the turbo and everything like that and it'll also hopefully give us somewhere to mount the intercooler to so something to look at um, and I'm just briefly going to take a quick look at an idea on how to get the alternator mounted as well so once again we're just going to slap an old bracket on there and see what we can see what comes of that Jordan's remanufactured that linkage just checking all the clearances That looks, that looks good, you see right down the side of there, clearing the subframe all right. That's looking good. So next thing we've got to do is this bracket. We've got to modify that because that piece that's sitting, this piece here that's sitting over to the left, it's got to be the same distance over the other side so it's got to sit over there somewhere so let's try and flip that round right, selector arm i've now moved that across and also that's moved further in towards the engine as well so it should clear the bulkhead up on the car it's also plenty of clearance for the speedo cable and i'll miss the bracket so so far looking good we're just gonna Pop some cables on it, make sure they look like they're going to do the right thing. And then, uh, well, look at something else to fix. Well, that is the gear linkage in. That was good poo. Oh no, I trust you to walk in halfway through and say you've had a poo. Rude. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the gear linkage all in, cables run. Uh, we was going to look at shortening the cables, but there's no actual need. They're, they're pretty good. 
So, do you want to give it his first try? Because I, I've just clipped in the front ones here, so. First, is it? Second, third. Oh, I might have come over too far. No. That sounds like reverse. reverse. Third. 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 Good. Yeah, well, it all seems to work. So I think that's kind of a bit of an achievement for today. We've modified the subframe, we've modified the gear linkage, we've modified the gear cable bracket, and we've actually got all the selector bolted in to the car properly for the first time. So marvellous i think the only thing we might have to uh modify might be the gear lever but we'll have to wait and see on that one i think once it's got a pair of seats in it and what have you see what it's like eh? but looks all right all works well happy days right well i think that uh, is going to conclude today's video and we're going to see what happens next so on to it again tomorrow hopefully Yes. Bye bye again from him as well. He's too busy watching his gear linkage. I think he's happy. <laughs> right, see you again tomorrow. Bye, bye.